What's up, Code Gang? Welcome back to Statics. So, let's solve this problem here. So what do we have? We have a bucket hanging on a cord here, and it's attached to five cords, basically. And our goal is to find the tension in each cord when the mass of this bucket is 60 kilograms. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have five unknowns, right? We're solving for five things, so it sounds like it might be hard. Uh, but basically, let's break it down as simple as possible, and let me show you how I would solve this problem. So first of all, where do we want to start on this problem, right? It's usually the hardest part of solving a problem is knowing where to start. Here's how I do it. Uh, we know one thing. We're given one piece of information, which is the mass of the bucket. And if we know the mass of this bucket, we know the tension in cord AF, right? Cord AF is going to be 60 kilograms in whatever amount of force that is. So if we know this one force, we can start at point A because there's three forces acting at A, and we already know one of them. So we'll have two other forces to find. So let's start at A. Uh, but first of all, let's figure out what the mass of this is. We're given, or the force of this. We're given mass. We need to find the weight. So remember, weight is equal to mass times gravity, or in kilograms, we're gonna use the SI gravitational constant. So we're gonna say the weight of F is equal to the 60 kilograms times 9.81, the gravitational constant. And that's gonna give us that the weight is equal to 589 newtons. Nice. So let's go ahead and draw a first body diagram. So let's start at A, like I said. Uh, because we know that the F here, we know that the weight of F is that many newtons, 589 newtons, we know that that tension, AF, is equal to 589 newtons. And if you want to prove that to yourself, draw a free body diagram at point F, and you'll figure that out. So let's go ahead and draw a free body diagram. Now we know that piece of information. So there is point A, and let's be read to body's forces. So here is tension. AF, free AF. AB is going to pull straight to the right. So we're drawing these arrows pointing away from A because tension only pulls, it doesn't push. And tension AC is going this direction with the tension that is C. And so we need to know what these angles are, right? Uh, so luckily we're given some important measurements. So we know that this cable here from A to C is four meters tall and three meters across. So what we can do is we can draw a triangle here. We know that the ratio is 3 on the bottom, a 4 on the top, and then the hypotenuse, we could use Pythagoras' theorem, but we know our 3, 4, 5 triangles. If you have a base of 3 and a height of 4, the hypotenuse has to be 5. So we have a 3, 4, 5 triangle there. And between AF and AEB, we have a right angle. So now that we have this free body diagram, we can start to get to work. So let's say, should we do, we have two equations we can write when we have a free body diagram like this. There are some of the forces y is equal to zero, and some of the forces x is equal to zero. Basically, this is saying that the forces in the x direction are canceling, and the forces in the y direction are canceling, resulting in no movement. That's static, so. Let's do some of the forces of y first, because we know tension AF, so it's gonna let us find AC really easily, because tension AB only pulls in the x direction. So if we're gonna do this, well, what do we have? We have tension AC pulling up. But it's pulling at this four, five, 3, 4, 5 triangle. So we can't just add all of tension AC because we're only looking in the y direction. So we need to add the ratio. And the correct ratio is 4 to 5. So we're going to add the fraction uh, 4 fifths to this tension AC here. 4 fifths. We're doing that because the ratio of this triangle that acts at is 4 to 5 in the height direction, which is the y direction. When we do x, we're going to do 3 fifths. Now tension AF pulls straight down, so we can subtract tension AF because it's pulling in the negative y direction, and it's only acting at no angle, so it's gonna be a whole fraction here. And then, of course, some of the forces is this, and we're gonna set it back equal to zero. So we're solving for tension AC, so we're gonna move tension AF to the other side to get tension AC, or fifths, is equal to tension AF. And then we can divide by that four fifths, get tension AC, is equal to 5 fourths times tension AF, which is 589 newtons. And then we can solve that. So I'm going to put it up here. Tension AC is equal to 736 newtons. So that's if you solve it from here. It goes to this answer. So I'm going to underline these so we have them. Is it accessible? Grab a shear. Raise that. All right, so let's solve for tension AB. That's the last unknown that we can do with this free body diagram. And of course, we're gonna use the sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to zero. So this time we have 
tension AC and tension AB in the X direction. Tension AF does not act in the X direction. So we're going to subtract tension AC because it's pulling in the negative X direction. And like I said, we're going to attach that ratio of 3 fifths because 3 is the bottom, the X direction of this 3, 4, 5 triangle. 3 fifths. Then we can go ahead and add tension AB. We don't have to add anything to it because it's acting exactly in the X direction. Let's set it to 0. So we can move it to the other side to get tension AB is equal to tension AC times 3 fifths. Then, of course, we can plug in. We know for tension AC, we just found that. 736 newtons times 3 fifths. Now I'll go ahead and write this up here. Tension AB is equal to uh, 442 newtons. There we go. So there we go. So we've done all we could do with this free body diagram. So we have this tension, this tension, this tension found. Now we just need to find these two tensions. So to do that, we need to draw another free body diagram. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up the board here so we can work on that second part. All right, so we're back. So we got this new free body diagram. So I went ahead and just drew what's happening at C. Now we, I chose C because it's in the interaction of all three of these uh, forces here. So that's kind of why I chose C. Um, so what do we got? We have our three forces. We have AC, which we just found in the earlier part to be 736. And then we have CB and CE, which are unknowns. So this looks very similar. It's kind of like the flipped version of the last free body diagram. So let's go ahead and solve for these two forces. Again, we have two forces and two equations to solve for them. One of the forces Y and some of the forces in the X. So we can do it. So let's start with some of the forces Y. I'm going to do some of the forces for Y first because we know tension AC. So once we know one of these things, we can use it to solve the other one acting in the Y direction. I could also do some of the forces in the X first. Either way, it would be just the same. So it's going to start out with tension CE. It's acting straight up, so we don't have to worry about adding any things to it. And we're going to subtract tension AC. And again, it's acting at that 3, 4, 5 triangle. So we're looking at the Y direction. So the Y direction is what opposes the fourth. So we're have 4 fifths as our ratio. So that equal to 0. And there we go. So we're going to move the tension AC to the other side so we can solve for CE. Tension CE is equal to tension AC times 4 fifths. We can plug in tension AC to be 736 newtons times 4 fifths. And we're going to find that tension CP is equal to 589 newtons, which is pretty cool if you think about it because we found that this tension AF is also 589 newtons. So the tension in AF and the tension in EC are the exact same which uh, might actually make sense. It's kind of intuitive. If you really think about it a little harder, but I guess it's something you wouldn't be able to know without doing the math. So cool we did that. Let's do some of the forces x next. So uh, yeah, some of the forces x is equal to 0. We're going to get negative tension CD plus tension AC times 3 fifths. 3 fifths is the ratio in the x direction for this. Set it equal to zero. Of course, we're going to do the same thing. Tension CD. Add this to the other side. You get tension AC. So 736 newtons times three fifths. And then you're going to find that tension CD is equal to 442 newtons, which is cool because this tension CD and this stuff and this core here is the same as tension AB. So everything's kind of symmetrical in this, which is pretty cool. So there you go. We found all five tensions. Right? It wasn't that bad, huh? So if, if this was kind of a struggle for you, check out the rest of my videos and I can help you out. Or leave any questions in the comments. I appreciate you guys' support and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.